Hey guys, Dr. Ahmed here from the Institute of Digital Dentistry, and I have an exciting unboxing for you today. In this blue box, I have the Medit i600. The Medit i600 was a surprising announcement by the company on the 20th of April, 2022, when they also announced the Medit i700 wireless. This means the company now sells four scanners, the Medit i500, the Medit i600, i700, and i700 wireless. So what is the i600? Well, basically, this is the successor to the i500, which was released in 2018. The i600 is better in almost every way when compared to Medit's first intraoral scanner. This scanner has the same exact scanning technology that's used in the wildly popular i700 and i700 wireless. It is also extremely affordable at 13,500 USD. Now, before we get into the pros and cons of the i600, let's open the box and see what we find. So this is the box that the Medit i600 comes in, and it's the stunning blue color because as we'll find out soon, the Medit i600 is a different color to all the other Medit scanners. So let's open this up. So as usual with all the Medit scanners, what we have here is two boxes. You get this scanning box or scanner box, and this has the scanner and all its components. And you get this accessory kit box that has all the cabling and whatnot. So first and foremost, let's open up this scanner box. These Medit scanners are always very tightly packaged. And here we have the Medit i600 in all its glory. And as you can see, this really, really stunning blue color. This is not usually a color that you see in the intro scanner market. And it's definitely something that's quite unique and out there. Apart from that, we also have this quote here by Medit, as with all the other Medit scanners, it says, scanning reimagined, through innovation and customer care, we drive the digital dentistry revolution, which is, again, some pretty powerful words. If I open this up, now, the first thing I notice when I open this up is that, unlike the Medit i700 wireless, which I unboxed recently, this looks exactly the same as the i700. And this stands true for a lot of the things about the i600 in that even when looking at the scanner, this looks very similar to the i700 and i700 wireless. I mean, it's radically different to the i500, but they all seem to be having this kind of shape. And in essence, the build quality and everything is exactly the same. So when I look at what's inside the box, we get the usual things. This is a USB that comes with all Medit scanners. Let's open this up. This is a branded USB, and this contains the application to install the software and also some user manuals. The other thing we find is that the scanner tip box, again, very similar to all the Medit scanners. These are the scanner tips. So if I pull one of these out, this is the scanner tip, and as you'll notice, this is not blue, and actually it looks exactly like the color scheme of the i700. And the interesting thing is, is Medit is almost unifying the entire catalog of scanners. This scanner uses the exact same scanner tips as the i700 and i700 wireless. And something that wasn't really publicized as much is that Medit has improved these scanner tips. Originally, these could be autoclaved about 100 times. Now they're autoclavable up to 150 times. I am told that with the Medit i600, you do get the older scanner tips with the 100 autoclave cycles. So these just fit on like this, and it fits on like so. And just like the Medit i700 and i700 wireless, it is a reversible scanner tip. So you can put it on both ways. Um, apart from that, I'll put this to the side. Here you've got the user manuals. I'm not going to open this. No one reads those. I'll put this to the side. And now we have the accessory kit. So, so far, exactly the same as the Med i700. Now, if we open this accessory kit, we get all these accessories with the Med at i600. Um, I was expecting, because this, this scanner is much more affordable than all the other Medit scanners, I was expecting the company to kind of offer something less, but no, this is exactly the same as their premium scanners, the i700 wireless and i700. So here we've got all the adapters. You get the same exact calibration tool. 
you get a scanner base, which the scanner will sit on, and you get a whole bunch of power cables. Now, I don't want to bore you and go through everything because I've already done this many times and I'd recommend you watch my i700 wireless unboxing and also my Medit i700 unboxing where I go through every single component. Instead, what's a bit more interesting is to compare this to the i500 and i700. So with the power of editing, I'm going to clean up this table and then we're going to discuss all of the Medit scanners. So, now that we've unboxed the Medit i600, what are the main differences between this scanner and all the other different scanners that Medit offers? As mentioned prior, this is the successor of the Medit i500, and it is better in almost every way when compared to this scanner. This includes scan speed, this is a lot more lightweight, the scanning window is larger, and it only needs a single USB-C connection similar to the i700. In summary, if the i600 is available in your region, there is literally no reason anymore to buy an i500. Although the company has aggressively reduced the price of the i500 to 12,000 USD. What about when comparing the i600 to the i700? The i600 is now the company's entry level option. The i600 is priced aggressively at 13,500 USD, while the i700 is 18,000 USD. This is a $4,500 difference. So what is the compromise? As explained prior, these two scanners are actually very similar. They share the same housing. They are the same size. They have the same optical technology built into them. And apart from this color, you wouldn't really know the difference. There are four main differences between the i700 and the i600. The first one is the i600 does not have a remote control, as seen here on the i700. So, as you can see the difference, there's no remote control here. Now, you may be wondering, what's this remote control button for? This remote control button is used to navigate the software during the scanning workflow. And this is to prevent the need to touch the laptop. I personally don't use this too often because I work with my DA and she's doing all that for me. So the emission of this remote control button in the i600 isn't a major for me. The next thing is no UVC disinfection. For those who don't know, the i700 uses a UVC LED within the scanner to disinfect the internal components of the scanner. Now the issue of this is that to have this feature working, you need to use the scanner connected to a power source and not simply just by USB-C alone. So because I always use my scanners with just a USB connection, this is not really a major downside of the i600 either. Thirdly, there's no HD mode. You may be aware that many scanners on the market offer something like an HD mode, which basically is a software toggle that enables the scanner to capture a higher density mesh while scanning. This is the case with the i700 and i700 wireless, and it is a bit of a contentious topic because some users swear by using an HD mode, while others never use it. I personally don't use HD mode in every single case. So again, the fact that this is not present in the i600 is not a really significant factor for me. Lastly is the FPS or frames per second. This is the important one. This is the number of images captured on the software while you're scanning. In the i700 and i700 wireless, this is up to 70 FPS. While in the i600, this is limited to 35 FPS. And this is limited almost artificially because as I mentioned, they all use the same optical technology. So this is really the number one thing that differentiates the i600 to the rest of the scanners. But it's important to know that this does not impact accuracy. It basically only impacts how smooth the scanning experience feels. So for $4,500 less, you get basically the same scanner as the i700, but without the remote control, no UVC LED, no HD mode, and kept at 35 frames per second. The i600 is very aggressively priced at 13,500 USD in what appears to be an effort by the company to not price themselves outside of the market especially in developing countries, because now there are many Chinese scanners available for under 12,000 USD. So how does it actually scan? 
Let's find out and compare it to the i700. All right guys, so let's see how the Medit i600 actually performs in a clinical setting. What I have here is the i600 and the i700, and what I'm going to do is take a full out scan using both to see is there really a big performance difference between the two and is this frames per second cap on the i600 significant? So let me mask up and we'll get going. All right, we're gonna start with a full art scan. All right, so that's a full art scan taken with the Medit i600. And as you can see, it's a very fast scanner. This full art scan was taken easily within 45 seconds. And so although it's kept at 35 frames per second, in my experience of using the scanner, it really doesn't impact the speed or the accuracy or really the smoothness all that much. What I'm gonna do next is plug in the Medit i700 take the same full arch scan, and let's see if we can see a difference. Okay, so now let's take the same full arch scan with the Medit i700. So that's the same full arch scan using the Medit i700. And as you can see, a very similar speed, around 30 to 40 seconds for a full arch scan. Uh, personally, when I'm using these two scanners, I can't feel a major difference. If anything, the i700 is slightly a smoother scanning experience, but for over 4,000 USD, you'll need to decide if that's you know really worthwhile for you. And that's pretty much everything when testing these two scanners. This summarizes the unboxing video for the i600. I hope you enjoyed the video. The i600 is a great scanner and comes with everything people love about Medit. It's a great entry point to the Medit ecosystem, and it is a scanner I can easily recommend for those on a tight budget. If you can afford it, there is no doubt that the i700 comes with a number of advantages, but for its price, this scanner certainly offers a lot. Leave your comments below about what you think about the i600 and check out our website for more scanner reviews. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.